Uh, but one thing, another thing I wanted to talk about before um, before we wrap up was the idea of entrepreneurship and like, because I know not only, and I think I'm fascinated by this idea that nowadays creatives aren't just creatives. They are creatives, but they're also entrepreneurs because they understand the me mechanics of how to get their work out there to people. You know, they understand, okay, I can create the work. You were saying, you know, have an idea, you know, drawing, but also understanding, okay, how do I get it out to people? Because we are now are using social media as levers to get our work to people and, and you know, and push that. And I know you, you talk about you are, you are on TikTok. I know you're on Instagram. I, wish, I recently also jumped on Instagram too because I've been convinced by a friend of mine who's nice. also on Instagram and she was like, yo, like, you got to get on because that's where the people are. Like, mm -hmm. the people you're trying to reach, there's this idea because I, I originally had this idea that, you know, they were you know, not the kind of people I wanted to get my work to, but like that's, there's no such thing. They're just people and you can tar target it to certain individuals if mm -hmm. the work is what you want it to be. So I say that to say, I know that you've been trying to branch out into different avenues. And one of the avenues you've been branching out into is, um, is, 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 is uh, I guess, your clothing brand. Do you wanna, and do you want to talk more about that? Like just also the idea of entrepreneurship, but the idea that where you start seeing that you can do more than just make the work, you can actually take it further. And if that's connected to this idea, the clothing brand you, you're trying to build also. Okay. Well, um, sorry, can you say the question again? Cause it's, I'm yeah, to, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'm trying to ask. I was a long-winded one. I'm no, trying no, to, no. Just yeah. to simplify it, yeah. um, where did the idea of trying to build a clothing brand came from? Oh, okay. And also, yeah, what, what, what's, the, what's the plan of that, if you have a plan, or what's the idea behind so, that? Okay, no, yeah, cool. So the whole idea with the clothing brand really stemmed from just pretty much coming up with a way to kind of like, push out my story because mm -hmm. i know that releasing a comic isn't going to be like the easiest um market market to obviously grow mm -hmm. so i thought to myself what is another um kind of like creative and commodity that i can do that i can basically get the fan base from there to end up coming towards what i'm creating mm -hmm. and so i thought to myself okay let me make a clothing brand and obviously with the name of the clothing brand as well as some of the designs it's going to have some sort of relevance to the story which i'm writing so mm -hmm. Obviously, when people initially buy the clothes, um, they wouldn't even have an idea maybe initially. But when I eventually release my story, mm -hmm. I'll probably put in little East, not even Easter eggs, but usually when you um, write comics, especially in mangas, they have like these little um, author notes where it's mm -hmm. like, you can kind of like... Mm -hmm. Like references. You can actually just say it to yourself, but yeah, you can have references in that. Exactly. You just yeah, pretty yeah. much got it. And that's what yeah. I'm pretty much going to do. But I felt like I also realized with the clothing brand as well, it's like it gave me a new skill even though it's not like being fully established i'm still working but i've learned a lot of things i've learned first of all how to kind of like get into the business world like you said entrepreneurship and it's like i'm really trying to just figure out i'm trying to figure out what the best way would be to like obviously get into the marketing side mm. of that like obviously the comics aspect so it's kind of like a training for me how do you on the marketing side how do you market the, your your like you think about it how do you market your brand obviously you're trying to build a brand mm. for, for who um, you are but also for what your work is about you know like you said that <clears throat> it kind of encapsulates the clothing brand also the work itself well, how is your thinking around that like what is are you trying to be a brand or are you trying to market your brand and how are you trying to do that um well i'm trying to just basically yeah i would say i'm trying to make be a brand but I'd say like the way I'm trying to market is for one, just pretty much just creating my own fan base. Mm. And then after that, just pretty much making connections, collaborating with people, obviously working on things with other people, because then it's like, you can obviously then do your own thing, also meet new people. And then obviously the more connection, um, I feel like not even connections, but I like just kind of like the more you're refining, refining your own skill, mm -hmm. the more I guess polished and like, I guess, the products of what you're trying to develop will kind of like end up standing out as well so it's just refining and connecting i agree i agree and i think i relate to that too because i think like for me that's what the podcast is about like initially like um it was never about me i mean at the beginning anything you do you want it to be about yourself but when i when it started getting good i realized it was not about me it's about the people that i'm meeting yeah. but the people that i'm bringing on because like they're all creative they're all doing their own thing and i want to celebrate that i want to get them on and be like yo tell me about this thing you're doing you know i feel like it's really cool and obviously i'm doing my own thing too and this is part of the thing that i'm doing mm. but um i think like the idea that there is a community in which i always struggled with in london too because i don't know if people are as um collaborative as as i would hope you know do you feel that or do you not agree i uh, know i do get what you're saying i feel like people 
at the end of the day, it's like, it's like that a lot all over the world. But I do feel like in London, it's like you'll find more people who are competitive than uh, mm. collaborative. I feel like in order for you to be able to get to that point where you need to cooperate with someone, especially mm -hmm. in London, it's like you need to have like not necessarily a status, but give them a reason or an to incentive. Do it, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask um, on the topic of entrepreneurship, what are some of the biggest challenges you faced in your journey and how have you overcome it? <laughs> Pretty much everything. <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, yeah, know. But in every aspect. It's literally every aspect. It's crazy. Isn't yeah, it? but like, I'll probably say the biggest thing is just, I think just, just understanding. Actually, I don't really know. I think the main thing will just be timing because it's like, Every I used to think everything I'll do, like for example, finding the manufacturer would be difficult. But mm. once you kind of know how to look, and then it's not even that hard to look because there's just so many ways you can kind of access it, like social media, all of these things. But yeah, I'd probably say the main thing for me would be just kind of like balancing my time because I find myself doing so much things right now that it's like it kind of slows down the process of what I'm trying to do. So yeah, I definitely say time timing, both managing and then duration you know i saw this crazy it was an amazing quote it was like um i can't complain about having all this everything on my plate when I, all i want to do was eat yeah you know it's like um I've, i think i relate to you so much i've reached a point in my life where i have so much to do i was so much things that i wanted to i have to get to i feel like if i had a twin everything would be fine because i could just do two yeah, things at once yeah, yeah. it feels like there's not enough time in the day for the things i want to do but then often i think back when i when i reminisce i think back to like me five years ago and here's a question actually what do you think you five years ago would think about you today? You know, of all the things you've accomplished, all the things you've done, all the, you put yourself out there, achieve your goals, all the things you've actually, you know, put your mind to and actually accomplish, they would have been like praying for, you know? I yeah. think certainly my position is, a, I, I, that's why I feel like five years ago, I wish, I would have wished I'd done all the things I'm doing now, yeah. but I'm here thinking ahead five years from now, you know? And I think like, that over that cycle of always never feeling satisfied and i think about this a lot too about success it's like how can we have success without satisfaction you know like i'm never satisfied with the position i'm in so even if i do achieve the success that i want i think it's not success because i'm not satisfied yeah. do you relate to that idea and do you relate what do you think about those to the idea that you five years ago was looking at you now thinking like you have everything i've ever, ever wanted 